with one of the two-story uh, lift loader docks um, that you can drive a semi up to, up to and load. It's probably got three bays, um, but it's all one building. And on one side, it's it's the drive-in parking spaces, uh, but it's an open, connected area. It's two stories high, and the other side is a loading dock. So there's an unloading section, kind of like when you when you go to. I'm picturing in my head the nursing home behind my house, so this is not going to be a relevant reference to you. <laughs> and finding something else that works is just incredibly difficult. Basically, you can walk in, drive in the front end, and then divided by probably a concrete wall um, and a set of storage bay doors, the other side is the loading dock. So they'll unload it in one room. Um, a, a bunch of poorly paid burly men will take it after it's been inspected into the loading dock area, get it onto a truck and or boat or whatever, but it's trucks here, a truck to boat. I'm getting ahead of myself. To get it out of wherever they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just need to park within... Uh well, uh, you're not going that f there first, though, are you? Because the the up the river to the northwest is where the manufacturing plant is that makes the microchips, and down the river, kind of southeast from where you parked the other night, is where you're going to find this loading dock facility. Um. Okay. So wait, that you just sense. said loading dock, but then I thought you said loading dock for the imagine north a, imagine facility. a line, imagine a line. Okay, just a diagonal line like this. Or actually, yeah. yeah, like this. A diagonal line like this. At the tip of the loop of the river is where the factory is. So the factory that makes your microchips, where you parked the other night, where the meat market is. Does that make sense? So they are on the opposite ends of this line. Yeah, so the southern one is the one, the microchips for the, uh, the C3 yes. drug. Yes, so yep. that's the first location we were going to, I thought. You're easily able to drive up to the fences around this area standard five barbed wire not high-tech security um, cameras uh, base model 3 sensors um, video or video only probably uh, and um, they're probably up every 20 feet around the perimeter of these fences um, it's not rentable space it's all corporate owned property um, there is probably two it's a rather large group of warehouses and various outbuildings um, there's probably two patrol cars. It's basically they fenced in the whole property by the river with a minimal security. And then, then on the other side of the fence, there's probably two patrol cars driving around. In terms of Wi-Fi bubble access, you can easily gain at least a Wi-Fi signal connection from outside the fence. There's no reason for you to go into this complex, um, but you can if you want to. The security is light, um, at least until you bust down the fence, and then it probably gets heavier. Okay. So, yeah, that's exactly what we need. Uh, what's the noise level like in this area? In this area, you're it, not looking at anything that would modify your dice pool. Oh, the, okay, the noise, is, noise is more um, a ratio of distance from source transmission. Where you are in the city is, is very close, like zero ping to where a bulk of the server space is going to be. In terms of the Wi-Fi bubble, you're so close to a hub um, and the bandwidth is so significant within the city that you're not going to hit noise until you're 15, 20 minutes away from downtown Kansas City. Oh, excellent. Okay, nope, perfect. I, I'm using the noise reduction anyway, so as long as it's not above two, I, I should be golden. And then the distance, um, I want to be within about three, 400 yards. So... I mean that's of within the, a block or two of wherever, the, uh, yeah, of wherever the building is. You know, uh, yeah, fine. well, of your access. Point. Uh, yeah, of the of the signal. So of where the Wi-Fi signals, the antenna or whatever they're broadcasting from. Yep. Okay. Uh, so Eas easily done. That distance is done. Easily you done. Just, okay. You just park outside the fence somewhere, like seedier part of town. As long as you don't mess with the fence no one's going to come out and knock on your window and say move it along lovers nothing like that you just park your van and do your thing i'm not going to say you're not caught on camera but like don't hug anybody okay um are you ready for me to go full vr or should i cold send this who are you talking to are you talking to me talking to you i'm ready for you to do whatever you would like to do tell me your approach all right, then I go to sleep. I hop VR and. Uh, Do you give your friends a head up, heads up, or are you just like, oh, I'm gonna take a nap, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
All right, so dark elliptic. I'm going to uh, get into the system. I can still message communicate with them, so okay, send perfect. them text messages so you're not and whatnot. Sleep? I was lied to. Okay. But my body is passed out effectively, so I'll need you guys He's to the uh, protect the physical surroundings. Physical. Yeah, <laughs> my physical body. Everything. <laughs> Pretty please, don't mark her on me. Yeah, and so help me if my ears come out yellow, you guys are just <laughs> okay. All right, and now you're ready for some rolls, right? Absolutely, I'm watching. Oh, you're rolling. I'm ready then. All right, I need your uh, your system's opposed roll, input intuition plus firewall. I have two successes. All right, I have eleven dice and I have three hits. So minus your opposed roll of two, that leaves me with one success. I have put a, a single mark on the system without being detected. Okay. All right, we're going to uh, try that again. Five hits. Two hits. I'm using the app, so... <laughs> All right, so uh, that gives me my second mark on the system. Now's where the real fun begins. He gets uh, the computer, if it's trying to hide systems like files and sensitive information, things like that, it gets to use logic plus sleaze versus my perception rule. What if, what if, um, it is not the system intentionally hiding information from you, but information that is not correlated or is missing or someone is fudging the paperwork but reporting the paperwork properly. That doesn't affect your role at all, right? You just get the information that's been fudged, correct? I get the information that's been fudged, I believe, yes. Okay. But the system is not making an active effort to withhold information from requests is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what, what would so, I roll then? Nothing? Just if I'm not trying to hide, hide anything, yeah. if the system thinks it's above board, even if the paperwork is not in order, it doesn't oppose roll you, correct? Yeah. No, that sounds right. Because okay. it's trying, it's basically trying to use it as a decoy, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So. But the things it is trying to hide, it gets an opposed roll, and what is that? Because you're, are you trying to crack the whole system, or are you looking for something specific? That was intuition plus sleaze. Yeah, I have two marks on it now. So okay. uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to enter the uh, the files basically, or enter the their gateway, and this will allow me to have read and write access to most of their general day to day files, like okay. just the stuff that's not a uh, considered a higher than normal security. Okay. Stuff that they would keep on their main grid. And then from there, though, I would be able to see perhaps like VR representations of guards or higher end security where that might, in, you know, lead me to believe that there's other files or things like that um, oh, in all those right. other you locations. In a, I'm in the full are, VR. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm running around looking like a gray access, Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Do you really look like Marvin the Martian? Yeah, but but gray, Re uh, right. removed of most color, and I have long uh, pointed elf ears. The the information hierarchy is constructed um, into something that your brain interprets as a large, big top circus tent. Um, as you enter the circus tent, um, there's an infinite number, almost. Uh, though you could count them if you wished, um, of, you know how they're built almost like a hexagon or they have little slanted walls to the tent, how they hang down, and each of those has a file system hierarchy on it. You can actually, since you have two marks um, and you have data frame access, make simple requests and modifications, you can actually spin this tent like a rotisserie wheel. Um, in terms of if you filter uh, the available sources uh, by open information or access information versus restricted um, and join those to 
similar walls. What you get is an entire ring of blue with three slivers of red. There are three red doors of restricted higher access information, um, and the rest of the circuit tent in terms of file allocations is open blue. You can do a general query, and the outgoing shipping manifest is not something that is encrypted. Um, you can access that whole file path dating towards when they started to ship their own materials in 2070 um, when they came under Amber LLC. None of that information is encrypted and you have easy search at one click access to anything that's actually left the factory in the last six months. Everything else has been archived. So with more digging, you could look at that. But All digitally, right. like interactively accessible, the last six months of shipping manifests are at your fingertips. Perfect. And awesome as it is, I see we have Medic back. He is typing that you might not have to pick up your friend. Cool. You, you saw how you spelled witches there, didn't you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I hope everything's that all right then. The ER witches, yes. Yeah, did, did you guys know that? The uh, the ER witches and then the people who draw your blood are the ER vampires. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you're back. Um, Medic, the the first line here in your, do you have your, uh, your homework document pulled up? One second. Oh, hey, look, now it's up. From the Google Drive, perfect. So what uh, Nathan was just explaining to us in your shipping completed manifesto here, yep. uh, we just hacked that portion of the uh, uh, of, well, we just hacked that portion of their system, those files. So those were blue unencrypted files. All right. And there was a number of things paid by credit stick. Uh, excuse me. So the first line there, Nathan, is uh, paid by CredStick. CredStick, yep. What do I need to be bringing up on the on the Google Doc? Yep, Under... Medic's homework. Oh, you'd think that that would be obvious, but it's not. Okay, uh, no, there are no um, paid for by CredStick. Um, you, you notice immediately that there are no paid for by cred stick and there is no quantity of outgoing shipping order under 10,000 units. Okay. So it's not really an over-the-counter, hey, I need a bag of microchips, Fred. Here's, uh, <laughs> here's 10 grand. There's nothing like that on the books. This is, this is uh, selling to companies, selling to businesses, or selling to distributors. So it's all bulk in terms of their shipping. They're like the source. They're the fountainhead of microchips, um, and most of what they do goes out to individual distributors. Okay. Or goes out to large bulk corporate uh, purchases. Okay, moving on to the next line. Delivered places that are out of the way. Um... The, in terms of this facility, the um, everything that goes local is shipped here. Everything that does not go local from this plant is shipped to the distributing plant in the Amber LLC Corporation where it's transported elsewhere. So nothing is shipped outside of Kansas City directly from this facility. Um, <coughs> shipments picked up by client, uh, they don't do that. <laughs> I, I was just listing down ideas. No, 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 it's great. No, I'm just going down the list to make sure I hit everything. Unusual requests. Now, this is the point, Jeff. Do you have any? You have data processing, right? So you could set up an algorithm to look for discrepancies or, or number patterns, or you could even sort by recent orders. Or, um, or uh, what I would do is I would look for. Anything, because you know that this, at least from the drugs perspective, they've only been up and running for a short period of time, or Voltaic would have been dead months ago, right? So I would restrict my search to recent outgoing shipments. I would also look for um, how, I would also look for um, if this is going to a, a drug syndicate, look for discrepancies in shipment sizes that have the same label, because that is how I would hide information. Go figure. Um, but anyway, um, there are there are two things 
um, that that stand out. One is there is a recurring shipment um, of about a hundred thousand units that goes to Amber LLC um, and is not earmarked for anything. They make a hundred thousand units. It's basically their entire overhead is paid for um, by Amber LLC products. So it goes to basically a warehouse in Amber LLC and per requisition, whatever they've slotted out for the month, Amber LLC ships out, has manufactured, can burn through a hundred thousand units of these every six months. So that's kind of not super suspicious. Um, and if someone was cranking out, like it's going to be more short term. Uh, there are several blips on any algorithm you run uh, for data processing. Roll me your data processing check to see how effectively your computer sorts information into a meaningful manner. With seven dice total, I have three successes. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. There are two anomalies that your computer picks out without any prompting or any, like, cajoling. One is that originally when they built the four turbine system at the mouth of the, the interchange, um, basically what they've done with the loop of the Missouri River is they've it turned it into a multi-stage power generating plant. So they've turned it into a system of locks, basically a big water gate that the river is cur is constantly churning through, or in this case, up. Um, and they've built a series of turbines that fill in bottom of the water, turn as the water pumps up this waterway that they've constructed and generates just bajillions of volts of electricity. Um, uh, it's not a pissing contest, Voltaic. Please do not try and generate billions of volts of electricity. It won't end well. Um, but the bottom line is, is that when this, when the plant went in, um, uh, they they do they did a maintenance um, about two years ago uh, to renovate some of the equipment, and they built everything on site. Um, and so, fifteen thousand units, ten to fifteen thousand units of these microchips um, were shipped to the plant to build machinery on site. It, it was mostly automated, um, but it was a one-time entry. Um, thing. What you notice is, is that someone has put in a recurring order for 5,000 units um, under, this, uh, under the same label as plant turbine maintenance microchips. The problem is, is that these 5,000 units, while it might be reasonable um, to, to make a recurring shipment to replace parts at the mine, this isn't a part that generally gets a lot of wear or wears out. You're looking at a machine usage a safe time span of about five years so there's not really a reason for this 5,000 unit shipment to be going out every two weeks oh every week or okay so bi-monthly yeah so that's a all right suspicious that is strange shipment. the other suspicious shipment is that um the uh, the shipping address of in the last four months just side note it because I don't know how relevant it is to you right now but the shipping address of the hundred thousand units um, for the past two years the reason the plant was built was to supply the needs of Amber LLC for these microchips and then the overflow is kind of just off sold off bid um, to make money for the corporation but the actual usage microchips has doubled in the past year and the other hundred thousand units are going to a separate building in Amber LLC um, that is that is not um, earmarked, if that makes sense. Like it says, it says General General Amber LLC Bank, um, and then there's a hundred thousand units going to what's labeled as Amber LLC R and D. So there's a hundred thousand units every six months going into an R and D program in Amber LLC, which is strange because Amber LLC this isn't really a research site as far as you knew. Um, so if they are building something in there, they're keeping it kind of on the down low because the purpose of that facility was to provide and sell infrastructure to Kansas City, power, water, electricity, um, and to provide a shipping distribution hub um, for the greater Aries Corporation in the NCAS. Okay. It, um, these files have all been useful, so I'm going to take a copy of them or make a copy of them. Okay. The system doesn't mind that at all, right? No, not at all, Master. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time. The uh, hack on the fly. I'm going to try to get a third mark here. 
Um, I, I need some admin clearance, and I'm going to try for one of those red doors. Uh, you're going you're gonna to get admin clearance, and you're going to try for one of the red doors. Okay. Yep. I have cool. five hits, and it's opposed intuition plus firewall. Do you get any sort of... Did you add to your dice pool for having two marks already on the system? Or not? Oh, no, I did Team not. Three? Okay. And you have how many hits? I have three. The system has four hits because I'm an insanely good roller. Don't play me at War Machine, you'll get wrecked. Um... The, uh, the system has four hits. Uh, the, there is no ice in place on this system. Um, it is just straight up firewall defensive measures. Um, and there is no active countermeasure personnel in place over this system. Um, what you know from your two marks on the system is that this is, whoa, you're plinging me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, no. The, uh, yeah, you and your Vlad one gun line and your frickin' nine jacks can go, okay, other side, other way. <laughs> um, I love Vlad. <laughs> no, like, oh, God, or top of the frickin' meta world. Okay, uh, back on task. <laughs> um, the, the mad dogs, thank God they're nerfed. Uh, the, this system, um, is run by a network engineer, uh, 24-7. But the responsibilities of this engineer is not active countermeasures, um, it's just markup reporting. So the system, um, when, when I win on successes, does it auto get a mark on you or does it have to roll? Uh, this is the uh, hack on the fly, so I believe he automatically gets a mark. Yep. Okay. Yep, auto mark. And um, then it should also alert him to start the, uh, the counter intrusion or whatever. Right, right. Which in this, which in this is in this instance, his responsibility is to shut down external network access yep. to the building, and then report it up the line so that a system admin who makes more money than him and has more technical expertise can resecure the system to boot it back up. Yes. Okay, I'm telling you that. But so. He marks you, he runs an identification query, and then the external Wi-Fi access, which doesn't immediately boot you because you're an internal friend and you have two marks on the system. <laughs> but uh, most of the, anyone without admin privileges is, is, is it, the guest wireless network has come down, if that makes sense. And you're turning in and doing pages and things. Yeah, sorry. There's still a lot to read in here. You're fine. Or a lot uh, to remember, I should say. Okay, we're running silent matrix actions. Uh, hey, Voltaic. What's up? What stuff currently right now? We're profiting. Kind of no, actually, we're on. Eye on the outside while he's passed out. You're you're calm. Uh, jingle, you're calm. Jingling a lingalings. I will answer. That is a fantastic choice. <laughs> uh, hey, boss. What's up? You called me. Doesn't mean I can't be polite. Oh, okay. You Sorry. recognize the voice of Mr. Tom Walsh. Smuggler hey, Tom, how you doing? Hey, man. I'm doing well. I'm glad to see your courtesy kick back in. I was worried there for a minute. Sometimes I sometimes I have to keep it away. I get it. You know, you're under a lot of stress, but you know, you, you just sometimes you gotta go with it. You know, you're, you're gonna miss out on life with with too much negativity. Anyway, I got something for you. Did you find out? Uh, not a lot, but it is something. Uh, the drug is does not appear to be for open distribution, limited market. Uh, I feel like they're pitching it. You know what I mean? They got a, they got a few guys going around to local existing distributors uh, and, and pitching a, a product change. So it, they haven't got their own guys in the neighborhood. It doesn't look like some kind of hostile takeover. Um, but some of your boys in-house uh, are getting pitched this new drug, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Who uh, Who's getting pitched in-house? 
Charles on Third Street for sure. Uh, at least he's the only one I've marked as a buy-in. I followed one of these case-carrying jack-offs to his place, um, but uh, they've been in there for a couple hours. This is kind of the first hit I've had. Um, I, 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 I'm not selling Charles under the bus or anything like that. I mean, I don't say float him down river, but maybe have a talk with him. Uh, I'm going to tail this, this guy. I don't know what his routine is, um, but I'm going to try and, un, and figure out where he's headed. All right. Thanks, Tom. Be safe. Uh, one, one other thing. Um, mm -hmm. What do you know uh, about the, the East Ameritrade Shipping Corporation? Do I know anything offhand about that? Um, no, I, I is somebody else answer. writing down notes about this at the moment? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Sorry, trying to read. East Ameritrade Shipping. Thank you. Corporation. Corporation. Uh, it doesn't ring any bells, Tom. Did you find something? Find anything out about him? Nah, that's just the boat this guy got out of. It's it's docked at Pier Forty One up the river. Looks like a private pleasure yacht, but it's got comp it's got corporate logos. Hmm. What corporate logo? What what corporate logo? Eastern America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, man. Maybe you're under more stress than I thought you were. <laughs> oh, quite. Anyway, that's not really it's not really my area of expertise, but I'd maybe have someone backtrack it. All right, Tom. Let me know if you find anything else out. Don't you don't right. yourself in too much trouble. Uh, I'll hoof it for a bit, but I get the impression this guy's headed back to the harbor, so uh, I might not have too much more for you. All right. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a solid lead. Um, Don't forget to pay him, or someone else surely will. I will transfer. How many? How many days is he? He's only what twelve? Not even. Not even hours. eight hours. Twelve hours. Yeah. He'll send you an invoice. Well, he's yeah, he's gonna bill you for eight, but it was like four hours of walking. Piece of cake. Yeah. I'll pay him for ten. Oh so. man, you're a generous employer. Hey, he got good information. Plus, someone else will pay him if I don't. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'll, basically, I'll send him a message that basically says, bill me for 10 hours. Okay. Uh, and then uh, once once Statrix has finished being ejected from this building, uh, I can talk to him about the, uh, the new developments. All right. Uh, Mr. Researcher and Developer, what happened? What did you discover? That's me? Statrix, yeah. Yeah, he has a mark on me. It doesn't deal damage, he though. Uh, he can okay. start to do anything that requires one mark on my device, though, which if he's trying to find me, will help him. He can start doing location services and things like that. If he's trying to find okay. my physical location, that is. Um, if he's That's trying logic to... Plus is, is that logic plus... Uh... What is it? What is his? What is his proposed role? He's trying to find out who's connected to his system. He's trying to do a trace route on your rig. What do you mean, ping time zero? He's MS? trying to do Good a trace route. Good God, they're right outside. <laughs> no, no, sorry. He needs to. Building. He needs to increase his mark count on me by one. He needs oh, at okay. least two marks on me in order to trace my location. Okay, so what can you do with one mark? Um, not much. He okay. can, can try he to read my system? general files, which are encrypted, things like that. He can try to... Can he try and disconnect you from the system with one mark? Can he push the off switch? <laughs> there is a way to, yes. Okay, well, he's going to try that. You figure out how. Or you could just leave. <laughs> and I can figure out how later. <laughs> um... I honestly didn't think you'd fuck this up this badly. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, so... Well, he um, can jam my signal. Oh, perfect. He'd love to do that. <laughs> He'd love to do that. Oh, but it would it would only add hits to to the noise rating around, making it harder for me to... to making it so I would have less dice. Um, okay. He has three hits to do that. Okay. 
It's not opposed, so it, it'll reduce my dice pool by one then. You said there was a uh, normal noise factor is at least one, right? Yep. So that should be, so he would increase it by three, which would go up to four. And uh, I've got, I run a program that reduces it by two. So all of my dice pools will be reduced by two now. Okay, that math makes sense to me. What would you like to do still in the system? So still in the system, he has one mark on me and I'm going to try to erase that. Uh, I gotcha, okay. He gets willpower plus firewall. Firewall of the system, right? Yeah, firewall I've only got one hit. Right? Uh, he also has one hit. Oh, good. I just dropped a link to uh, a wonderful cheat sheet that has the number of marks, what kind of action it needs, and the tests, so. Hooray. Oh, All right. Color -coded. Color -coded. For every Very additional color -coded. net hit that he got on that would have given me matrix damage. Oh. So he would have given me biofeedback, basically, on that. But uh, we tied, so I just failed the action with no no repercussions. No, no brain jujus. Ray, Are you trying again? Um, no, it would be his turn. Mm, okay. He's going to try and increase the noise rating again. That was fun last time. Can he do that infinitely? Just uh, no, I think he needs to uh, beat his okay. previous score in order to do that. Okay, he's not going to do that then. Uh, he, he wants can, he can to... Mark me. And that would let him kick me out of the system. Or trace, my, trace me back to let uh, his physical security know what where is, I'm at. What does he need to add a mark? What does he roll? It depends on what he's stronger at. It, he can do brute force, which is probably what the system would be set up for, which is uh, cyber combat plus logic. Okay. He's got two hits. All right, I've got three hits. Okay. So, so your turn. that would actually do one matrix damage back to his system. Ow! All right, motherfucker, if you want to play like that. Here, here comes the black ice. Yeah, right. Okay. What are you going to do, Statrix? All right, I'm not weak locked yet, so, and there, it, yeah. No, I'll try to remove the mark again. Okay. I've got two hits this time. He has two hits. All right. He's way outperforming his pay grade. <laughs> yeah, what's he doing? Yeah, he's destroying <laughs> me here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cole. Yeah? So He's up, though. Cole, uh, can we leave him hot, bro? What? Yeah. I was, I was, I was told not to let you know immediately, but, um, sure. the possibility of him being admitted is kind of the Did you want to try to mark me again? Um, uh, he's booting up a program. Uh, he's showing the sign of liver damage. Is starting a new program a complex action, or can he do that and make a roll? I believe it's simple. He should still be able to take a no, complex. Love, 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 okay. Love. Additional love. sense. Uh, additional system countermeasures appear to be coming online. <laughs> and he attempts to mark you again with four successes. Seven successes. That's three Jeez. points so of biofeedback he has to. Uh, he can we're resist. Not not that. not That's eight dice, seven successes. Uh, so <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> we're not 
we're, we're worried about the, the, the worry themselves. Your, uh, your war machine oh, cred is, is going downhill, <laughs> right? I'm only rolling five dice, you can fight me! <laughs> this is what signs importance is for. <laughs> Alright, yeah, with that, I think I will, uh... He's only got the one mark on me, so I can just... Uh, disconnect. Okay, farewell. He's gonna take his brain damage and, and, and develop a, an ardent hatred. I, I was he actually there in VR? Did I see a presence? Or was he... Okay. Spending money. But the system took four points of matrix damage, and who do you think's paying for that? It's not the, <laughs> not not the owner of the system, I can tell you that. Like, this guy's in trouble. Uh, putting a mark on you was not his, his design job. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay. So you're out. All right, yeah, I, I come back to my body. Woo. Okay, I guess I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't, I haven't dealt in, deep, uh, jumped in that deep in a few months. So, are are any kind of outward alarms going off in the building or anything now? Not that kind of building. It's a manufacturing plant. Mm. Pretty, pretty, That's a good point. It should have been a cakewalk, but uh, someone That's stayed up all last night, and then someone else got him up at seven. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what you're saying is we should leave now, huh? Yeah, yeah. We'll drive off whenever. That's we'll we'll, we'll drive off uh, in the direction of. Uh, yeah, they're doing everything. They're doing. Of that. Uh, oh, crap! Right up on my notes. Where'd my notes go? Write them down. There it is. Um, we're gonna we're gonna move off in the direction of Third Street to go pay a visit to. Uh, I think you said his name was Childs. You know, I did that. Uh, the in-house deal was uh, Charles, being pitched. Third Street. Charles. Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Charles. I thought I thought you said Childs, but that's what I'm I'm illiterate. I could have. Charles is what I was going for, though. All right. Yeah. So um, while we're on our on our way there, um, actually, where is? Where's Ministat? Is he hanging out at right now? I actually don't know. I'm, I'm in the van. I, I I really don't know what's going on. There so is I'll one the, uh, troll size seat I'll, in the van. I'll be reviewing the uh, those those notes that uh, of the therapist because oh. they're some like weird. Are you gibberish. reviewing? Are you reviewing your own I notes? You, all right. As you flip it through the notes, <laughs> the first one, the first this guy first of all, complete jerk off, very unprofessional in his. Um. Clinical. Notes. That's where you went. Um, not told the first know. guy, he's like, um, instead of like delusions of grandeur or any technical yeah, terminology, he's like, likes to hurt yeah, people. So that's, oh that's god, really another story not, about not hurting not someone. Not. Sounds like he's breaking if, if fingers. Him, oh god, I nodded me. off there. Is he? Yep, I, I still know. hurting someone. <laughs> like he's just letting this guy process. Apparently, he look. If he looked at his treatment notes. Um, he has kind of his routine. It's like, this guy won't listen to anything I have to say unless I listen to him talk for 20 minutes. So he has like these notes of this guy talking for 20 minutes and he's like only trying to hit the highlights. And he's like, oh, needles, that's new. Very violent. Wonder if saw on TV, question um, mark. And, uh, and then he has some actual therapy notes. It's almost like it's written by two different people. He like, he, he sits up in his chair and he's like, oh, it's my turn to talk. I love to talk. That's why I got into this profession. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, this guy, um, he intermittent explosive disorder, PTSD guy, um, set off by just the oddest things. Like if you, if the um, water doesn't come out before the meal, or if his water glass doesn't get refilled within like a five, he'll just sit there and stare at it. If his water glass at a restaurant doesn't get filled within five minutes, he just goes ballistic. He thinks something's happened to his waiter. Um, he thinks they're stalling him to come and get him. He freaks out and leaves the restaurant. So he doesn't go to restaurants anymore was the advice of the therapist because he's an asshole. Um, <clears throat> no, they're working through some things. Uh, he, there's nothing in this report that seems classified. This guy talks about working for a classified a agency in the military. Um, but every time he gets on, he's like, I can't tell you about it, but there was this one time that I put a fork clear through this guy's ear. And he's like, oh, you like killed the guy? He's like, no, I just thought he'd look good with a fork in his ear. Like, dumb as toast, violent, multiple problems. 
medication is not going to fix this guy. He's, he's going to be on the government dime therapy indefinitely. Um, but nothing in here that would get a guy in trouble. And then you move on to the moon cannon guy. Um, yes. This guy... This guy, you can tell the therapist has just checked out on this guy. Um, he keeps writing three or four sentence question, moon cannon question mark, um, and then it's like paramilitary organization question mark, um, kidnapping homeless people question mark, and then you see an odd question mark, and it says meta human meat market question mark, and then and then. Um, uh, just like random things, another a few things. He's like, oh, okay, has not taken medication in six weeks, right? <laughs> what happened to old? Uh, it, and then it's like sold prescription on street question um, mark. And he has he has treatment notes like begin administering medication at check in for weekly sessions, uh, increase sessions to twice weekly to support medication applica uh, uh, medication checks. Um, apparently. This guy, um, his for whatever reason, his he's out with a military, um, some sort of pension fund that pays for his therapy and treatment. He does not have a job. The therapist is confident that he lives under a bridge somewhere. But he comes in like clockwork. Somewhere down by the river, maybe. Somewhere down by the river. No, uh, he comes in like clockwork. Um, for his Thursday appointment, um, he's not dirty. He is disheveled, um, but the the it, this is all in the treatment plan. He's like client presents with do 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 do. He describes the client, and this blurb is just repeated until something changes. They did an intake summary. They post at the top of every treatment note, um, just so they know what client they're talking about. And then he's like, this week client is obsessed with space age technology used to destroy moon. Um, used in defense of solar system from extraterrestrial en entities and then you can see where half the treatment notes are a sketch of what looks suspicious <laughs> <laughs> all full of muting his microphone we need to teach him to do that yeah they will help the ulcer that's good it's Hey, it works. <laughs> oh, what did you do? What did I, you do? If you if you Just hover sit. over the icons, you can hit the hang up button. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Oh. <laughs> he'll he, so he'll have to rejoin the call, but he, he can probably do that. yeah he He'll can just okay. rejoin the call. That's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. Just I couldn't hear myself think. Yeah. There's not a lot of space in my head for extra noise. Uh, oh no. What? Did it mess up your layout? Oh, Crap. why would you do that? I mean, I didn't know any better. I would have done it. Oh, uh, we won't have recording right now, I guess. Oh, uh, goodness. Okay, so. But you notice that there are little. There's a big oh. sketch taking up half the therapy notes on one page um, from this last week that do not look. It, it, whereas it's not the fine, frivolous scrawl of the therapist, it's this big drawing of what looks suspiciously like a railgun, and it's got labeled parts, um, and uh, the, the the big concept, it would, it would look crazy and funny and cartoony, except that he's got little, like, measurements for how long the barrel is, and, and then he's got notes about what type of ammunition. It's like someone grabbed his clipboard and is trying to draw some sort of engineering schematic of this weapon on his clipboard. And a lot of it doesn't look like a stretch. So this guy might be crazy, but he has some knowledge of modern hardware. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. Well then. So what's going on over at Third Street then? Uh, I don't know, Voltaic. What's going on over at Third Street? We were heading over there, presumably all in the same thing. You arrive. Okay. Third Third Street's kind of a hole in Missouri. It's not my favorite place. If you moved over towards State Line, there'd be a pancake house. That's the only nice thing I can say about Third Street. This isn't a restaurant. This isn't a bar. This is a shady little 
apartment complex that he's turned into a front window office. There are two heavy hitter looking, I don't know, dudes, maybe? <laughs> There's two really big guys whose faces have seen the inside of a toaster oven just too many times. They've just, they're beaten flat. Their features are just washed out, and you can tell that if you hit this, there's there's no phasing this skull. Um, obvious thug power. Um, obvious armed thug power. And standing on the street like, they don't care who knows about it. They're just, they're just putting forth the image of, yeah, walk up here, or don't. Like, <laughs> anyway. Um. There's really trashy looking people coming into and out of this place. Uh, obvious low monitored area. Do not leave the van unattended here. I will make sure it disappears. Um, not a good place to be in the greater Wyandotte County area. Okay then. So I guess we'll... Welcome to Charles's place. Creative, huh? Ooh. Sounds like it belongs on a Monopoly board. Yep. Only it's it's like a dingy purple square instead of a nice royal blue one. Um, so I guess we'll park the van on the side, uh, look around, say, Statrix, maybe you should stay in the van and make sure it doesn't leave us. As soon as you park the, I need more the sleep. van on the side, as soon as you park the van on the side of the street, you notice there's no cars really parked on the street here. Some punk ass kid in cut off jeans that it's not a good look for him and wife beater comes up and just leans with his hands in the pockets of his cut out jeans, which not a good look, like I said. Sits on the hood of your van, he's like, Oh hey, what's up? Nice ride. Um Yeah. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll take. We'll also it is get. Nice ride, isn't yeah. it? Uh, he falls onto the street, turns around, and scrabbles away. What's he gonna do? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. There's no getting away. <laughs> There's no getting away. <laughs> Not getting away. No, I, if I have to reach out, I'm not will. <laughs> okay, you have to reach out and grab him. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> it is a nice ride, isn't it? Now, yes, sir. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> You're gonna watch this van for us, <laughs> and if anything should happen to it, or if any of your little friends come and put so much as their little fucking greasy little mitts on it, I'm gonna blame you. Okay. Okay. So what are you gonna do while we're away? I'm gonna wash the van, man. Yeah, you are. And when we get back. We'll have some cash for you. What do we say, man? Cool. Take a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> the terror. The pure terror. Like a Polaroid. Alright. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay. I'll, I'll take a look at the uh, the thugs at the door and say, uh, Manus, you want to come inside with me? Sure. Alright. So I'll just stroll on. Uh... Wait. Do I need to carry any guns or anything? You're welcome to carry one. Okay. Sure. I don't think they're gonna be. Why are you holstering this gun? Is it just like in the overall? Is it what look are we going for? <laughs> no. Do you have a holster? No. I've got some clothing on. I've got some really nice clothing, but I don't wear that. That's okay. fancy stuff. For me. I got for you. For very specific occasions. Yeah. I gotcha. All right. Um, you're getting just regular clothes. Okay. I'll just wander up to the door and straight through between the two thugs. Like they're not even there. Thug A oh. looks. At, Thug A looks at you and is a whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you know the rule. There's no muscle in Charlie's place. What? <laughs> is is he taller than 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 Voltaikas? Uh, uh, how tall is Voltaic? Voltaic is like 5'11". I think the average man is about Voltaic's height, so we'll say this yeah. guy's a little bit taller. <laughs> so, so he'll... he'll, he'll you tilt your head to the side, he tilts his head to the side, he's like, why are you going over here? <laughs> he'll, 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 look, he'll look slightly... Um, move. 
Who and the hell we, is if he this starts guy? to like, if he starts to look a little confused, Voltaic will snap his fingers and say, "Move." He looks over at his buddy. Is like, who the f does this guy think he is? Like, look, look no muscle in Charlie's. You want to go in? That's fine. Voltaic but your, will, like, but your he's, ox he's, and your your he's in the what? middle of. <laughs> you can he's take the, the you can, you could take the scrawny white guy with you. That's probably okay. He, he's like he's like in the middle, and Voltaic's just like. Rolls his head back and rolls his eyes, and lifts his hand, and okay. just kind of, just points it at him like, like a, literally like, like, like a finger gun. And and very calmly, uh, I will ask you a third time. Move. The the dumbest toast guard who has one job and is very good at doing that one job, is looking at your finger like, and then he gets this like clouded look on his face like. Oh, maybe that finger's loaded. <laughs> it starts to drift his hand down inside his jacket. And be like, if someone's pointing a loaded finger at me, maybe I should point something loaded back. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh-uh. I need to see Charlie. His buddy pulls uh, out. Less. Yeah, that's okay. So we, <laughs> no. we need to see Charles lest, uh, lest someone uh, slightly angrier arrives. Uh, do, do either of you know Bolton Reeves? The dumbest toast guard is looking at your finger. The other guard goes, yeah, I know who Bolton Reeves is. What about it? So, would you Pointing. rather deal Pointing with pistol me? You. <laughs> and Voltaic does not waver at all at the, the pistol point of him. Oh, would you okay. rather deal with, with me? Does Minus waver at all at the pistol? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that there was a pistol coming out. Yeah. Oh well, the the it was all very fast. Like laser finger came out, and <laughs> then and then the other guy was like, whoa, 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 whoa! You put that laser finger down, man. That's not Wait, cool. It was all very fast. So there's there's two things that are very fast. There's unaugmented fast, and then there's an augmented fast. Now how fast? All right. Was well, if you would like to hug the guy as he's pulling a pistol out of all the guy, no. <laughs> well, okay. I'll tell I'll tell you what. You you roll me your your. Reaction plus perception check, and then and then tell me what you get, and then you can have a chance to act as this gun is coming out of the hip holster of dumb as toast guard number two. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't really want to get into a fight. I'm just making them cower a little bit for funsies. All right, so like, would you rather deal with me, or would you rather deal with Bolton Reeves? Because I'm fairly certain that if Bolton Reeves has to come down here, he's just going to gun you down in the street. Tell Charles Voltaic is here to see him. And see my colleague that? will be coming in. See now that I could do. There was no reason to be mean and pull out your goddamn finger laser. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 gets the kind of glazed over look in one eye like he's got an obvious low grade retinal implant in the left eye you can almost read the scrolling text off the lens that's put over the top of this bulging optic it's not even the same size as his other op uh, his other eyeball like obviously done on the cheap it's got a metal ring around the ocular bone where it broke to keep it in there um and he's like and and you're first of all you're surprised this guy can read but he's obviously got the large print streaming technology uh, phonics. he's not really got enough neural to have a neural implant uh very mechanical uh and he's like uh oh okay yeah charles says he'll see ya he says the muscle waits outside like everybody else <laughs> Like I said, you could take the popsicle with you. Minus. I suppose you could wait outside. Uh, if you <laughs> hear an explosion and the front of the office blows off, step to the side. I'll make sure to kill that guy first. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll go inside. With or without holstering the finger laser, because that's <laughs> making people nervous. <laughs> I will pointedly, like, pretend to holster the finger before wait, wait. going in. Freeze time. Freeze time. Do we have to back? Yes. Uh, for now, yes. 
All right, so All right. we're back in it. All right, so, well, they drove and, and they hacked the circus tent. They found out uh, where the odd shipment of drugs was going. Uh, Voltaic, I don't know where you cashed out at, but his smuggler contact let him know that uh, someone was trying to turn the local Orkney Boy distributors to package their product. Um, and Voltaic is coming to visit Charles, who was approached by someone trying to peddle the C3 drug um, as a potential uh, distributor. Uh, Voltaic has now picked a fight with two dumb as toast security guards who... Um, I, Gust hasn't had the chance to detonate anyone's brain in like three <laughs> hours. Voltaic <laughs> has this clock where if someone hasn't died <laughs> in like the last X number of minutes, he just loses it. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to give you the option. You, you, you've obviously tailed around for this. You were in the van. You can stay with the van um, while a crew of scraggly-looking young gentlemen uh, wash it. Uh, or you can um, go in. T you can. He's not going to let you into the... He's already said no muscle inside. He says that the elf sickle can go in, but, but you guys have to wait outside. Uh, so you and Minus... If you'd like to be with Minus, that's fine. If you'd like to be in the van, that's fine. Whatever you'd like to do. If you'd like Where to get up on the roof and pull out a sniper rifle, just tell me that <laughs> you do that. I, I don't have a sniper rifle in my possession yet. I'm disappointed. <clears throat> I have an assault rifle that doubles as a sniper rifle. Why did but... you lie to me, man? <laughs> because it's not an open sniper rifle. It's, it's just a marksman's rifle. So yeah. hard to manage all the lies you guys tell me. Okay, whatever you would like to do. Um, um, who would you guys... Where would you, where would you guys like medic? Like, do you have him as just another piece of muscle, or are you having him supervise the vehicle in case someone decides to go and liberate components from it? Right now, I actually yeah. think they're a little too scared to liberate components from the van. Because Minos kind of took care of that already. <laughs> Minos had a talk. Oh, wonderful. So, but, uh... where where do you want an? an armed and possibly psychotic medic. Possibly? Oh, maybe he's a sociopath. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, um... I mean... Things go bad inside, I'm probably gonna blow the front of the office off just for funsies. So I guess <laughs> somewhere within a line of sight of that, whatever the best position for you you think is. Is there a coffee shop like a coffee store or some sort of uh, cafe esque area across no. the no. no. This is not the. There are no coffee shops here. Oh, what, what kind of area is this? Third Street Pawn Residential. Shops. Pawn shops and payday loans. And high risk horror houses. Hmm. And apparently a car wash. <laughs> and a car yeah, there's a car wash out front. I said no, watch, but... not wash. But yes. hey, if oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what he heard. He was under a First lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> he was under a lot of stress, man. Fair enough. For, um, this morning, someone showed him this video. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a bad And then alley? you stepped out of the van, and he was like, oh, God, it's that guy's car. <laughs> <laughs> it could be It could be that guy. Is he going to hug me? Oh, God, I'm grabbed. I can't get away. <laughs> no escape. Um... Yeah, I'll just be like, uh, probably just kind of leaning against an adjacent building. All right, it will take as you walk into this house. It is a poorly disguised facility that distributes crack. There are people slumped on what look like stolen subway benches in the atrium of this, <laughs> what used to be an old school apartment complex. Uh, you know, having been here before, that uh, his office is actually on the second level. There's a rickety set of metal-framed wooden planked stairs that goes up, and it's straight ahead um, down, a, down a hallway. Um, you can knock at the door at the end of the hall. Um, there's doors on either sides that are, that are per rent rooms um, or, or actually just kind of open rooms where if you get your product, you can dose here, but you have to be gone in an hour. Um, not the best situation. There's people crashed out in these rooms in groups or alone. Uh, no, no doors on these rooms. You know they got to have an easy way to clean them out. Someone hyped up is not going to open a door for you. At the end of the hallway, there is uh, Charles's office. Um, Charles has a door, but it's open because he's expecting you. Uh, and he's sitting behind uh, uh, 
one of those heavy duty, I guess, recycled wooden desks that you see at the consignment shops everywhere in the world. So I'll kind of. Come in, come up. in! Full take! What are you doing down here? I haven't seen you on 3rd Street in forever! I try not to come here. So. Why? Is it the atmosphere? He's obviously. Your guards. <laughs> your guards are rude. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> They're not rude. You have to have two brain cells between you to be rude. It takes cleverness to be rude. They're hammers. Stop expecting them to be blenders and you'll do better. Have a seat. So, we will take, we'll sit. Uh, so. Uh, There's only one chair. The elf popsicle will have to stand. I'm sorry. Oh, did Cetrix come in with me? Am I the I popsicle? Know. Yeah, because I thought I was sleeping yeah. in the van. Oh, I have no oh, idea what's going sorry. on. I thought Statrix walked up to the door, which is why I thought there was a skinny white elfsicle in front of the door. But if Statrix is asleep in the van, then uh, we'll pretend he went back to sleep in the van so that I don't feel insane. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you're alone. Now, have a seat. What can I do for you today? You're the second odd visitor I've had today. Yeah, I'm actually here about the first odd visitor. Yeah, what about so, him? Someone someone approached you to uh to sell some product huh yeah you know how it is we take the odd job sample nothing outside a company though are you sure about that listen i've been doing this a long time i didn't take shit from that guy it's no big thing well as long as you're sure because uh mr bolton this guy is this guy is all of five feet in any direction you measure him. Mm, he's round. He's a sphere with legs and arms I don't know that he can head. walk down the stairs, but he can roll up and down. That's what he does in my head. Mm. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Reeves visited uh, the Peanut yesterday. And, uh... Oh, us... shit. I bet that was stressful. Uh, he's kind of a dick. <laughs> you uh, say that again. Drink? What you got? Looks like whiskey. It's the right color, anyway. No thanks. <laughs> Thank Do you, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he he let us know that we had uh, twenty or forty eight hours, about thirty now, to uh, figure out where these are coming from, and stop these them. These what? The patches. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure your visitor uh, presented you with a few samples. Oh, the, the the blue things. Little squares? The blue things. Wow. You got, you Why still is Mr. Reeves interested in those? Well, uh, they have a nasty habit of uh, killing people. Really? They look the same yeah. as all the other shit people are cooking down? Pretty much, but apparently there's something off with them. Plus, I really just don't think they want anything out of house. Hmm. Bad for profits. No, I get that, but... I mean, this guy was talking in limited time trial run basis. He's, he's talking private industry, you know, eclectic shit. It wasn't a market of... Eh. Let me think about this for a second. All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me start over. This guy comes in. He's got one of those wheel carts, you know, like they, they serve perfume out of. Um, he opens it up, sits it on my desk. Uh, he's got that little blue patch. He's got the, the pink needle. Um basically three or four delivery mechanisms for a product I'm already selling. So I told him I'm not interested. We didn't get into numbers. We didn't get into his pitch, really. He came in, showed me what he had. Nothing cool. Out the door. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, I gotta... Hang on. Uh, he buzzes you uh, a comp contact serial number. Um, he's like, this is, the, this is the contact information the guy gave me. I couldn't get rid of him otherwise. Lucky I kept that shit. I mean, I only got so much bandwidth up here. Yeah, but... You wouldn't still be alive if you weren't bright enough to keep things like that. Cheers to that. And, uh, Voltaic will, will kind of mock... Mock, uh... Cheers without his glass, because he's not sure what that liquid is. For all he knows, <laughs> it's acetone. It's delicious. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you, Charles, but you've been very helpful. Uh, let me know I if you hear anything am. else. Sure thing, Voltaic. 
and could you be nice to my boys on the way out? I mean, they ain't much, but finding quality material to work with down here is, you know, it's a struggle. Uh, I suppose I should reward them for doing their, their one job well. Oh, don't reward them. That'll spoil them. Just don't melt them on your way out. I'll think about it. And then he'll get up and go... Yes, he... We basically have no reason not to stream pretty much all information we get to each other. Um, no, uh, do not tase them, Medic, as funny as it would be. Uh, because the last time we tased something large, uh, or somebody tried to tase something large, somebody got squished. So, rather avoid that if we can. That is where we got the abundance of these electric charges, though. Yeah. I'm like, no, you will not miss. <laughs> That's not the missing I'm worried about. So, uh, Voltaic will, will come out of the building um, and kind of send a message to everyone else. Well, I got a com, I had a com contact for one of the distributors. And uh, Statue, because we also know that the, uh, the carriers seem to be coming off a of boat docked at Pier 41. Looks like there's a couple forms of this drug, too. So, we got more to go on now. Perfect. And we have the comm codes, that means we can also track the, uh, poor, uh... Unfortunate case carrier? Yeah. Alright. Can you tell us where he is, Statrix? How late, uh, as an aside, how late do we intend to go? Yeah. God, I got a better look at the clock. Right now's probably a good time. Uh, listen, okay. Uh, uh, Statrix, help me remember this over the course of the week. Uh, for next week, uh,